we've got the box together, it's all hooked up. I've got the uh, thermocouple tagged in there. Um, I've checked that just with my body temp. The top one there is the reading there. Might be a little bit hard to see, we're right in the middle of the dockway. I've rolled a door here, so there's plenty of light. Top one is the um, current temperature in the head of the still. And that started at 21, so it's not gone, really gone anywhere. The bottom one is the temperature I'm taking it up to, which is 70 degrees to start with. Uh, I just want to see how fast it can get up there with, with both of these running through this, this one box. Um, what I've got on one side here is the uh, regulator. I've got that going at 100%. I could knock them back to 50% if I um, had a particularly cloudy wash that I didn't want to burn. And this is the other side. That's running at 100% as well. I haven't, haven't retarded the uh, power output on that at all. And there's the outputs for the plugs there. They're both turned on. And they go out to the elements either side of the still. Now my thermocouple there runs along that, that thin cable there and up into the head of my still and that just protrudes in, into the head. It's got there's a four inch probe in there that extends right through the, the top of that uh, the top of that still head. And that would be normally be my output to um, my condenser and I would go down to my flake stand. I'll just shut everything down. Um, I had it running for about an hour and a half uh, and the temperature in the head here was up to around uh, just about 55 degrees which is usually from my experience when um, things start to spike if, if, it, if it had been um, a wash in here with an alcohol content and everything uh, and then it runs up to, to 78 real real quick from there um, but the reason I shut it down is after an hour and a half is the heat sinks under here in the back well, they start actually cooling off quite quite re remarkably fast once the power goes off wow the heat out of those is yeah the heat in the back of that uh, was starting to become a worry for me um, I can kind of start getting a bit of an electronic smell there which means um, yes it's getting too toasty so what I'm going to do is find myself a little transformer and a uh, 120 mil diameter um, computer fan I'll pop I'll take this panel out throw it back into the laser cutter and chop it out uh, an area for the for a fan to fit and um, screw into so I just uh, pop some holes for my fans into the uh, bottom and the sides of the uh, control box here. And I've also made some panels just to go over these fans. Thanks, bud. These are just uh, covers to go over the 80mm uh, standard sort of computer fans. I've just pulled these out of an old desktop unit I didn't, don't use anymore. Uh, and they'll bolt on there. There's uh, four of those, and they're all going to be run off this guy, which is a little uh, 240 volt AC down to 12 volt DC um, transformer. It's got enough grunt to uh, run these four, just these four fans. There's nothing in here to take off at 12 volt, um, constant 12 volt that run these from the pit or anywhere. So um, I've got to got to throw that in there, and that will fit. Kind of nicely between those two heat sinks on the on the other side of that panel, and uh, bolt in there between between these two fans on the outside. So we're a couple of days on from the last shot, um, and uh, I've got my uh, fans in place. As you can see, the little transformer there, the thirty dollars I think it cost me for that guy that runs these four fans and the fans are just 80mm fans that were pulled out of a, um, a PC that I wasn't using 
and that transformer runs them all. Um, and they're keeping, well at the moment, they feel like they're keeping that, uh, that box nice and cool. The way I've rigged it, um, the, there's, a, there's two heat sinks there and there beneath those power regulator um, buttons but on the back of the box and there's also two heat sinks for the um, relays beneath the two uh, power outlets here but again on the back of the box. And the way the fins are arrayed on the relays uh, heat sinks they're uh, this way and on the, um, the heat sinks for the power regulators they're um, horizontally aligned so I've got these fans uh, set up so that they're sucking air in from either side here and then blowing air down and pulling it down and out the bottom and what that will do is throw it across the, um, the heat sink fins and get me the best amount of uh, heating I'm going to get out of that scenario so uh, what I'll do now is um, it's a little early on yet to tell whether it's working so I've got to do another another hour or so and uh, getting this this thing up to temperature is the, the thermocouple running along here thermocouple lead running up to the, the head of the still um, I've got another probably another yeah another hour uh, before it's up to the point that I shut it down last time because it was getting too hot so I'll come back then and we'll see how it's doing this is about the 100, and, about 100 minute mark, it's at uh, 57 degrees it's up to, it's on its way to 70. Um, at this point I shut it down last time uh, because it was just getting too hot um, to the point that I was worried about electronics melting and, and whatnot. Um, but The back of that board is uh, the back of that box is just, is absolutely cold to the touch. And the heat sinks under the under there are cold as well, and there's cold air still coming out of these fans. So that solved the problem entirely. I possibly even went overkill with the fans, but hey, rather that than than have it cook itself. Okay, well that's sorted. What I'm going to do now then is shut this down because um, there's no point in heating up water in past this at this point. Um, I'm just at the stage where I'm just starting to get condensation out of the out of the tipper out of the head of the uh, the still here. And I'll fire this thing up tomorrow um, with some dodgy washers so I won't use anything good just stuff that's been sitting around and it's just probably not you know, premium 